In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a favicon to your GitHub Pages page. So you can see here that I have a GitHub Pages page called favicon test, and you can see that it currently doesn't have any favicon, just a title. Uh, so I want to add a favicon so that my page is nice and memorable and stands out from the rest of all the GitHub Pages pages out there, which look pretty much the same. So the favicon that I want to add is here on my desktop. It's called favicon. It's just a logo of syntax byte. So the first step to adding the favicon is, of course, putting it in the directory. So you want to open up your your site's uh, directory here, and then you can just copy the favicon from where, wherever you have it, and then just paste it in the root directory of the site. So along with the index.mg, the gem file, 404, all that. Make sure it's not in any folder. Okay. Now before we get get really going here, um, we do have to consider that uh, Jekyll, the uh, program that is used to make the websites on GitHub Pages, uh, doesn't store all of the files needed to compile the site in your actual directory. Some of them it pulls from where your theme is. So you can see here in the config.yaml I have theme minima and so it's pulling some common files from minima that's all well and good because it saves space on your computer if you have multiple uh, sites with the uh, same theme and on github pages point of view it saves a lot of space but we do need to make modifications to the theme and so in order to do that we're going to need to copy over one of the files so I copied the theme name there and then to find out where the theme files are located on your computer you can do bundle show and then um, just just paste that theme name and we can see that this is where the theme files are located on my computer. So I can go ahead and copy that. Open up another file browser window. Uh, paste it. Enter. And then we can go into includes and copy the head. So what I want to do is I want to find my folder here. Make a new folder and call it underscore includes in my site directory double click that, copy the head file, and paste it. Okay, and now this head file makes use of a plugin that seems to be automatically installed on my computer but not on GitHub pages. So what we need to do is down in the config we need to add to the plugins here dash jekyll dash seo dash tag and that's the jekyll seo tag plugin and you'll see that when we open up the includes here and go to head there is this seo tag and we need that line in our config to support it otherwise if you don't have that line your github pages page is going to fail building and that's not good now in order to get our uh, favicon in here once we've added the favicon here on the uh, in the in the project directory the next thing we can do is just underneath of this style sheet I have in the notepad here a, a link and so this is the link that will tell the, the web page where to look for the favicon and this will be in the description you can just copy that and then just paste it right in there and then just save the file now this should be working all well and good so what we can do is just test it out by saying jkill serve in our sites directory and this will allow us to test it locally before we go committing it to GitHub Pages. And you can just copy that URL, hit open. And we can see that the favicon is working, so it should be all well and good. So with that working, I can go ahead and shut down the server. Interestingly enough, it complains about a favico, favicon icon not found. I'm not really too worried about that. So... Um, the next thing is that we can go ahead and put it on GitHub. So we can do git add a. That will stage all the files for a commit. And then git commit m favicon. And then git push u origin master. If you're using the master branch, if you're using the gh pages branch, just replace this master with gh pages. Hit enter. Okay. Now it will take a second for it to build the site, so we'll refresh and see if we got anything here. Not yet. 
And so after a quick refresh there, we can see that the favicon is in place. So that's awesome. That's how you add a favicon on your GitHub Pages website. It's really simple, but there are a couple kinks. If you didn't know about that jkill SEO tag, that would be a gotcha. If you didn't know how to find the files for your theme, that would be another gotcha. So it's really simple once you figure it out, but it does just require a little bit of jkill knowledge. Anyway, if you guys love this video, please feel free to subscribe. It would really, really help me out. And if you did like it, like the video so that others can find it and so that we can all have a good solution to getting a favicon on our GitHub Pages pages. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one.